What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and layout tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to continue our series on creating a plan set from our tiny house model. In today's video I wanted to talk specifically about adding annotations and dimensions to our layout file. Um, if you're looking for more great layout resources, make sure to check out my layout resources page at thesketchupessentials.com slash layout. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so one thing you may want to consider doing when you start working on adding your dimensions and annotations in layout is you may want to think about locking your layer that the viewports are on. So like for example, it's really easy to accidentally grab a plan like this and move it around. And we don't necessarily want to do that in layout. And so what we may want to do is we may want to go over to our layers section. If you remember, we brought all of these viewports onto their own layer. Well now, if we go and click the lock button, that means that we're no longer going to be able to accidentally edit this. So if you have your plan sheets kind of in place, um, you've kind of got them set up the way that you want them to be, um, you may want to think about locking that viewports layer. And so now what I want to do is I want to start adding some annotations. And so specifically I want to start adding things like dimensions, and I also want to start adding things like names um, on the sheets. And so there's a few different ways you can do this. So the dimensions are fairly simple. Um, all you have to do is just go up to the dimensions tool and just click on it and you can start adding dimensions. And so it's fairly easy to come in here and I do not know why this keeps defaulting back for me to metric, um, but you can go into your dimension style and you can select those dimensions and you can set them to like fractional feet or stuff like that. And it just doesn't seem to want to let me make that change permanently. So I'm sure somebody will be along to tell me what I'm doing wrong. But in the meantime, I'm just going to make sure as I do this that I'm setting this to architectural. And you can set the precision of your dimensions over here in your dimension style. You can see how though it's really easy for me to come in here and just start drawing my dimensions in. And so one thing to know is with these uh, styles, you can adjust the way that these dimensions get added in here. Like for example, right now this adds in a curved leader, um, but you can also set this to be like a segmented leader or no leader at all. You can do all of those different things as well as adjusting um, if this goes like vertically in line or um, you can just use these options to adjust the way that that fits along your dimension. So you can see how I can kind of move this one and kind of force it in here however I want it to go. And so that is an easy way to add your dimensions. And one thing I should have had us do is I should have added a new layer for these and I didn't do that. So let's go back in and let's put these on a layer. So what I'm going to do is click the plus button and I'm going to add a layer and we're just going to call this layer dimensions. And I'm just going to take all of these and right click on them and I'm going to do a move to layer. And in the future what you want to do is you want to make sure this is selected as the active layer. And I'm going to move this down below my default layer, but you're going to want to select this as the active layer when you draw these dimensions and then this will just be in here or then they'll be on the proper layer automatically. And so you can just come in here and add all of your dimensions really quickly. And so you can see how now these are kind of all on their own layer. You can turn them on and off. The other nice thing about this is since you have them all in the same layer, let's say that you wanted to go back and you wanted to change the style of these dimensions. And let's say you wanted to change all of them. Well, you could definitely come in here and let's say we wanted to change like the font or something like that. We could go into the text style and we could change one of these at a time, but that could get really frustrating if you want to change all of these at once. So let's say you wanted to change all of these to something like this Tahoma font or something like that. You could go in and change each one of these individually. However, the easier way to do that is going to be to take your dimensions layer that you've put these on, right click on it and click the button for select entity. And then you can just go in here and you can just change the font of all of these dimensions at one time. 
So the other thing you could do is, depending on how precise you want these to be, um, you could also go in here and change the precision. So you know if you wanted these to be to one inch or to an eighth of an inch or whatever you want that precision to be, you can go in here and change all of those at once just by selecting them all. And so that's an easy way to add your dimensions inside of layout. And so now I want to talk a little bit more about adding something else which is going to be the annotation so when you have something like this when you have a plan sheet like this you're not only going to want um, to add dimensions in here you're going to want to add different notes and things like that and so there's a few different ways that you can do this and uh, so the first way is not really a way that I would recommend you could just come in here and just draw all of these manually so let's say you wanted some kind of like a sheet notation or something like that and just manually draw in some different shapes in here and you're going to notice in your shape style that this is set to have a start arrow and an end arrow which is why my circle looks kind of funny so you can adjust that in your shape style so if you wanted to you could definitely come in here and draw all of these manually but obviously that's going to take up a lot of time and you don't necessarily want to do that um, you could add a little text note in here or something like that what we want to do instead is we want to use what's called a scrapbook and I made a separate video about scrapbooks which I will link to in the notes down below but scrapbooks are basically library files that are contained inside of SketchUp that have all of this stuff that you've already drawn or already pre-made. So like for example, if you click the drop down in the scrapbook section, you should have a bunch of these already built in. So things like different styles of um, sheet names and things like that. So there's some simple styles, there's some like more traditional things. There's a lot of different ones built in here, as well as you can create your own. Um, um, so you can create your own scrapbook file and again reference that video down below in order to do that but in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding some uh, notations in here and so the first thing I want to do for that is I want to add another layer and we're just gonna call this something like sheet notes or whatever you want to call that um, and we're just gonna start dragging some of these in and so the way that this works is you can just take any of these items that are contained in your scrapbook scrapbook and you can just drag that right over so you can see how I'm able to drag that in and put it on my plan sheet so that's very helpful for being able to add this really quickly then all you would have to do is just come in here and just uh, edit your text so you could just uh, click inside of it like this and then just adjust your text to whatever you wanted this to be so and then you could you might have to do some adjustment of your text size in order to make the whole thing fit but you can see how it's really easy to come in here and start making those changes and then you just kind of recenter this in here and you're good to go and so like for example let's say that we wanted to show a section cut across this whole building um, pointing in this direction that's going to correspond with our sheet a 2.02 which is going to be this elevation right here. Well, all we would do in that case is we would select this particular item right here, and we're going to have to drag in a couple of these, but we would just drag this in. And so when I drag this in, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have to rotate it because this node is actually going to point in the other direction. Um, it's going to point down like this. So you can see how I can kind of drag that in and put it in wherever I want. So you can see how I can drag this in, but one thing I need to do is I need to go inside of it. And I need to rotate this note so that it points in the right direction. And so this is going to be 1 on A 2.02. And so because this isn't going to fit, we're going to want to shrink the size of this, maybe down to like a 6 point or something like that, something to kind of make that fit. And you can see how I can kind of fine adjust the location of these things by selecting them and tapping the arrow keys on my keyboard. But now I've kind of got this note on here. Well now, I'm gonna drag in this line, this dotted line, and I'm gonna align it with this point right here. Then all I have to do is just click and drag it. In order to have that run all the way through my building, and then I would just drag the little end piece right here 
and I would rotate it 180 degrees and then I would line this edge up with this line and then probably what I would do with these items now that I've got them in here is I would just select them all right click and I would probably go ahead and make these a group um, because they're all kind of tied together so we really want those to be um, their own group in here and so again these are all on the sheet notes layer so you can turn them on and off as you go so if you have these in here you don't necessarily want to show them for whatever reason you can turn that layer on and off you can also select all of the items in here and just like before you can adjust the style of them as well and so the other thing I want to talk about really quick is I'm also going to add a layer for sheet names and again, you can call this whatever you want, but this is the layer that I'm gonna put all the drawing names on. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this onto this page. And we're just gonna come in here, and once we've dragged this onto this page, we're just gonna adjust this. So it says A1.01, maybe reduce the size of our font just a bit in order to make sure that it fits, whoops. in this circle and then we're just going to adjust our drawing name so in this case we're going to call this floor plan and then inside of here I like to put the drawing scale and that's something you're going to want to check um, you're going to want to check by looking at your viewport so I'm just going to click on my viewport I'm going to go up to my SketchUp model section and I'm going to see that this is a half inch equals one foot viewport. So I'm just going to type in a half inch equals one foot. So, so now what we have on this page is we've got a series of notes, we've got some dimensions, and we've also got a sheet name. And in this way, and by grouping things this way, you can go through and you can add names to the rest of the plans and the sheets inside of your plan set. And if you want to, you can also set up some kind of a sheet name that goes over here. So maybe I would put that on the same layer as this one, but you could just add a text box over here And you could add your text right above your sheet notation. And you could use that to label your different sheets. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you done a lot of annotating sheets and layout? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.